guys, uh, welcome back, and I am going to do another problem today. Let's see. Um, this is my this is from my profile, and I've noticed I'm almost at the next rank. So pretty much uh, level eight, ninety five percent done. All of that has been in JavaScript up till now, and uh, let's just continue it with JavaScript. Um, wherever that, wherever the wherever I can find more. Let's see. Profile badges, not what I want. Okay. upgrade where is just doing more problems that one all right um, huh okay maybe they should fix this up or maybe if I just hit home oh, there we go I just hit home and that take me took me to this page where I could just pick one of these I'll pick rank up and I'll just train and so all right, let's do this. Complementary DNA. This is a question that's going to take us to level 7, guys. Uh, okay. Deoxyrubonucleic acid um, DNA. Uh, I totally butchered that. Whatever. DNA is a chemical found in a nucleus of cells and carries the instructions for the development and functioning of, of living organisms. If you want to know more, okay, cool. So whoever this Justi Justify gave us a cool link for DNA. Not interested at the moment. In DNA strings, symbols A and T are complements of each other as C and G. As C and G. Okay, so A and T, C and G. You have a function with one side of the DNA string except for Haskell. Alright, uh, more DNA stuff probably that I don't understand. You need to get the other complementary side DNA strand uh, wait no sorry you need to get the other complementary side DNA strand is never empty or there is no DNA at all DNA strand is never empty or there is no DNA at all um, the freak they mean by that probably means if the argument is nothing return nothing um, DNA strand is never empty or there is no DNA at all Okay, whatever. DNA strand A, T, G, C, so the complement T and C to G, so it's probably what? T, A, A, um, C, G. And yes, it is. Okay, cool. So we just have to create um, the complement. And I think the easiest way to do that is going to be. Um, this sounds a, a lot like, like a key and value kind of thing that I'm going to have, so. I'm going to create a let's I'm thinking should I put these in an array or a hash table and I'm pretty sure I think a hash table would be the best here um, or an, an object so let I'm just gonna call mine the oh I can't call that DNA DNA uh, let's see is there a cool name for this compliments no I'm not I'm just gonna call it DNA key cool and what I'm going to have here is, uh, and I'm going to assume everything's going to come and capitalize. So A points to T. And so, and T points to A. And I, I'm just doing another one because I know, like, maybe I could look for the key, key and then give the, uh, or I could look at the value and then get the key, but I think it's easier just to store all of these together. It's only four anyways, so G and the G and the C. Okay, cool. So that's my DNA key. And so um, I'm going to have to have, uh, uh, let's see. You have to have a function. I'm, I'm trying to think of a good variable name. You need to get the other complementary size. So let comp side. I'm just going to call that that. Make that an empty string and uh, we'll just go through this DNA uh, string with a simple for loop. Let i equal 0. Okay, cool. So as we go through that, then uh, comp side dot burp 
let's write plus equals plus equals um, we'll do we're going to go into the DNA key and we're going to look for DNA of I and doing that this side will give us the, uh, the value of whatever we're looking for and so if if the first one we look at is an A it's going to go into DNA key shoot out T it's going to add that to this comp slide and we're going to return comp slide so let's try that out cool we passed everything the time seems pretty good here and so let's see my final let's see if they take it cool they took it and look you have unlocked the new privilege plus 25 honor you have the ability to vote on beta questions cool all right so that was it complimentary dna